John 10. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold, and one shepherd. Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. There was a division, therefore, again, among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them said, He hath a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him? Others said, These are not the words of him that hath a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? Hey, Shalom. All praises to you, Hashem. You have a shy, Hashem, Rekha Much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there. Uh, the true house of David. Are uh, you sincere brothers that are of God that um, that are convicted in these times that really understand who you are? May the Lord have mercy on all you uh, true believers um, understanding this thing. Um, I got a couple points I wanted to go over right here in John 10. So uh, continue to the lesson that I've been that I've did uh, over the weekend going through the sons of power, the only ones that's really going to teach the Lord like that and really going to uh, uh, profess them. Um, and that's exactly what it is. You know, um, it's it's nothing hard. You know, we're just teaching the Lord and teaching his doctrine. And through him is the door. You know, you got guys saying that you got to go through them and, you know, just the bullshit. The scriptures don't say that. Um, and this time, what we're actually uh, seeing more clear too, and something I'm seeing more clear is that guys don't care about what the scriptures are actually saying. They only care about what their uh, elders are carnally doing and what they've been teaching. That's all they care about. So right there is an indi indication that guys, uh, they love the, the praises of men more than the praises of uh, Yahweh Shai. And they, and they care about uh, this world more than they actually care about God. So that's a, another indicator that guys are of the world and they don't have anything to do with their Bible. Uh, like this, like the, like, like the, the scripture tell you right here in John 10, that guys that's going up another way, they're a thief and a robber. So by them not pushing repentance and by guys, uh, not teaching you how shine these days, they're definitely going up another way. Uh, not, building the principle not building on the lord's building block not building on yahweh shai so you know what we have to understand in this time is that as the times move on and as the new covenant continue to get uh taught you can plainly see that who's not of god and so i want to go through this chapter a little bit 
because you could plainly see when you go down here, these guys, they were against uh, Yahweh Shai very badly. They, they called him a devil in this chapter too. So it's very heavy um, what's happening in this time. There's, there's a great division amongst camps and it's a division going on in the world that we don't see. What we're fighting is the most important war. It's an unseen war. That's why it makes it so the most important because it's hidden. You know, why a lot of you guys are just of the fucking world. You're just teaching bullshit. The Bible is something you're supposed to use uh, to, to help cut down the wicked and help men repent in these days. The Bible, it is, it is a weapon. It's a spiritual weapon. That's why the Lord said... Uh, um, don't entangle yourself in the world. And our whole thing is to just teach the Lord. You know, don't, don't, um, the Lord said, uh, endure hardness as a soldier. So what we're doing is testifying Yahweh Shai um, in these times, in the face of many guys that are trying to hold on to their place in the world. Uh, that's what guys are, are trying to do. Uh, let me let me read something real quick. Uh, John ten and six it says, "This parable spake Yahweh Shai unto them." Uh, John ten and six, "This parable Yahweh Shai spoke unto them, but they understand not what the things that were which he spake unto them." Right, so. What, how we speak is the same way that the Lord was speaking. And the, the heavy part about it is that a lot of guys are, are a, unable to receive it. Because their brains are carnal and these words have no place in corrupt men. So like if you have a corrupt heart and a corrupt mind, you won't understand what the scriptures is actually saying. It's easy. Just just repent and follow the Lord. In the new covenant, man. Follow the, the New Testament laws. But guys hate that so much. Uh, they're in the same spirit of those wicked scribes and the Pharisees because they had a, a stronghold on people's mind, just like back in them times, you know. Uh, verse 7, it says, They say, Yahweh shine unto them, Verily, very, I say unto you, I am the door. All that came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep's did not hear them right so the sheep are not hearing all these thieves and robbers because they have characteristics of thieves they're uh, they're adding to the doctrine i mean they're they're adding to the bible they're they're taking away the new covenant you see so guys are in heavy transgression and the heavy part about it is that they're not spiritual at all they're they're just carnal they're brute beasts which speak evil of things that they really don't understand and why they don't understand it is because the Lord haven't given them the understanding. So they talk evil of it. You see what I'm saying? So it's heavy. Guys have outsmarted themselves in these last days because they've underestimated the power of the Lord to raise up certain men to actually teach him. And so now what we're saying is when Yahweh Shai is really taught the right way, men are opposed to it just like they were um, in the Gospels. And this is another good sign to, to let us know that we're in a uh, we're in a good path. We're in a we're in a right path. So before the Lord stepped on the scene, you had the Sanhedrin's, you had the the, the wicked priest, the high priest. They were already established 30, 40 years, maybe 20 years, however long, but they were already in the fucking churches. Uh, uh, like the Lord said in uh, Matthew 23 so just like these times yeah guys been teaching the Bible but that don't mean that they're of God so what when the Lord came on the scene guys were teaching you know they was in the Sanhedrin selling doves and doing all these type of things just like how, how we're teaching now and guys be like oh we've been in the truth for 50 years or whatever the fuck guys say and that don't mean that they was of God. The, the Lord said the last shall be first. 
and the first shall be last. Uh, John 10 and 9, it says, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. I am the door. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastor. Right. So Yahweh Shai is the door and through him, you're going to be saved. And so what guys are trying to tell you that they are the door, <laughs> you got to go through them. Get the fuck out of here, man. The, the elect were already predestined already to, to walk with you. How shy. That's why the Lord said uh, they didn't hear the voice of the thieves and the robbers. That's why the, the elect, they don't hear you guys. They can plainly see that a lot of you guys ain't right. The only people that you guys are attracting is the world. It says, I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd giving his life for the sheep. Right. And this is why the Lord died and Lord and guys downplay it because they don't have anything to do with this. You see, so they downplay it. It says the hireling fleeth. It says, I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and that means hired. You know, you have guys there at literally hired to te teach against the new covenant. You know, you got camp leaders and guys set up literally to teach against the new covenant. That's all they're set up for. They can teach all this other shit, but when it comes to this covenant, that's what they're against. All right. So you, you got you stupid ass guys in these camps that can't see what's going on. It's, it's because you're of the world. It says, but he is a hireling. He that is hired. And not the shepherd whose own sheep are not. See if the wolf coming and leave it to sheep and flee if right. And the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. Exactly. So Lord said, if you're not with the Lord, you're against them. And guys are just scattering the sheep from you. How shy. That's what they're doing. They're scattering them from the new covenant. They're scattering from certain brothers, you know, and what we're teaching. Because guys are of the world. It says, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and I am known of mine. As the father knoweth me, even so I, the father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. There are other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring that they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. You see that? So the Lord is bringing uh the sheeps together in this time he's bringing uh everyone together it says therefore do if my father love me right the ones that are of god bro they're not hearing guys that are of the world you it's a you, you know like if guys are a piece of shit and you know if guys are sincere that's why these guys they don't have any judgment love or or discernment they don't see the times, like the Lord said, they could discern the skies, but they can't. They're not in the spirit. They could tell you things about the carnal, but they're not in the spirit enough to understand the new covenant is working. And it is in certain men. Well, we know it's in us. It's just that the world hate if that. So. Uh, so lucky. John 10 and uh, 17. It says, therefore, do if my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again. It says no man take it from me. Right. So this is what the Lord came to do to establish a new law. That's why for you to say that the covenant ain't here. That's actually what you're doing is being a false witness. So you have false prophets, false witnesses. Like the Lord said, the thief come not to steal and to kill and destroy. That's what guys are doing. They're stealing, they're killing, and they're destroying the flock. It says, no man take it from me. I lay it down myself, and I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it again. This is the commandment have I received of my father. It says, there is a division, therefore, again, among the Jews for, those, for these sayings. And many of them said, he have a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him right? And this is the same spirit that guys are in. Uh, they, they're calling us demons and they're, look, they're looking at everybody like, why are you speaking to him? But when you go to uh, 
I think it was John 11. They was kicking men out the synagogues if they actually mentioned Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, let me see if I can grab this real quick. So it's really heavy in this time. But the thing, the Lord was uh, was increasing the value uh, in our people. He was making them believers. He was making them whole just by the teaching of him. That's why guys are not whole because they're not teaching you how shy in his, in his covenant. That's why guys are still dead. So it's actually heavy in these times. Um, let me see. Let's go back to this. John 10 and 19. There was a division, therefore, again among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them said, he have a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him? Right. So why listen to these guys? Why listen to them? So they're in the same spirit. It says, others said. These are not words of him that have a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? And it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of Dedication, as it was winter. Yahweh Shai walked in the temple in Solomon's porch, and the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long doest thou make us doubt, make us to doubt? If thou be the anointed, tell us plainly. And Yahweh Shai answered to them, I've told you, and ye believe not the works that I do, and my Father's name bear witness of me. Right, so what we're doing in these times, the works that we have, is bear witness um, that the new covenant is here, and Yahweh Shai indeed brought the covenant. But just like back then, and it's just like now, the majority of the world is against it because everybody has been made carnal in this time. So guys really don't have no belief in what the scriptures say. What they believe in is what man says, what camp says, what elders say. You know, uh, the focus ain't about what the scriptures is saying. The focus is about what camps are saying. It's a doctrine that guys are trying to uphold, which is not is not in line with the new covenant. That's why guys are against the new covenant. That's why the new covenant is a demon, like these guys say, because. It, it does not go along with their carnal fucking shit that they're doing. So the Lord said the works that he was doing in these days, in them days back there, it, it bear witness of who he was, but nobody believed him. That's why when you go to John, uh, the first chapter, it says as many has received him, them had who he made the sons of power. So everybody didn't receive the Lord and everybody's not going to receive the Lord now. Matter of fact, it's way more people in this time rejecting God, bro. It's heavy. It says, you believe not because you are not of my sheep, foe, as I said unto you. Right, exactly. You are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. Right, so the ones that are not believing is the ones that are not of God, bro. That's all. It's, that's plain. Guys that are not in the covenant, it don't matter if you're teaching the Bible. If you're not teaching what the Lord taught and believing in his covenant... You're not of the Lord's sheepfold. Verse 27. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Right. So the ones that walk with Yahweh Shai that understand him, they shall never be able to pluck out of the Lord's hand. Eternal life is knowing knowing the power. And if you knew the power, you wouldn't deny him in any type of way. It says, my father was gave them me is greater than all than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone them. And this is the spirit that a lot of you guys are in. You're in that murderous Cain spirit. 
Cain hated Abel because the sacrifice was more righteous. So you guys are in that Cain spirit. You guys are in that Cain spirit. And uh, remember, man, John 20, it tells you that our people, they have the greater sin. The one that gave the Lord up. Our people are in the spirit of stoning the prophets right now. But they don't have that jurisdiction in this time. John 10 and 32, then Yahushua answered them and said, Many good works I have showed you from my father. Which of those works do ye stone me? The Jews answered him saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou being a man, makest thyself God. And I, you know what? I remember one of these elders, they said something about them not being gods or something like that. I heard something like that. Well, these elders, these guys in these camps, they don't even believe that they're gods, bro. They're waiting, bro. It's heavy. We're dealing with we're dealing with the same ones that wanted to take up stones and uh, and kill Yahweh Shai. They stoned Stephen. They, they even stoned Paul. So these are the people who we're dealing with. It says, then Yahweh Shai answered them. It said, is it not written in your law? I say, ye are gods. Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods unto whom the word of the Lord came and the scriptures cannot be broken. So in this time too, what's so heavy in this time is that um, guys are not even powers. They're not even sons of power. They are, they are, they are sons of, they are, they are of this world. They are the, they are the wicked one. So when you understand that certain men are, uh, are powered, certain men are powered in this time. And a lot of guys are eternally damned. The ones that's eternally damned and the ones that are eternally, uh, um, uh, that have eternal life. This is what the war is up against right now. It's the ones that have eternal lives against the ones that are eternally damned. And so the true gods, the Lord said in your law, is it written that ye are gods? So. What's heavy in this time is that the ones that have eternal life that understand Yahweh Shai. We're understanding who we are and you cannot be a power denying the power. <laughs> you cannot be a God denying the covenant. That just means that you're not a power. And I think I've heard these guys say some shit like they're not they're not gods. So what's happening is the same thing that was happening back then. It's like we're confessing that we know Yahweh Shai and guys are saying that no, uh, you know, guys are in the same murderous spirit. They're unbelieving. You see what I'm saying? So this word God's real quick. I want to um, read this real quick. Strong's G 2316. Theos. Theos. Right. So that word God, a God or goddess, general name of deities, divinities, um, Godfather. The first person in the Trinity, the anointed, the second person, the Holy Spirit, the third person. Right. So um, the, the Lord told you in John uh, 14 that the, the Holy Spirit will come and make an abode with you. You don't need a new body for that. So when you recognize that you're a power, then what? You are powers. You are gods. Gods are just what? Powers. It says, spoken of the only true power, refers to the thing of God. You're something of God, his counsel, his interests, his things due to him. So if you're a power, you're going to be speaking the things of the power. And what pleases the power, uh, doing what his son says. When you do what the, what the son says, then that pleases God. Then that makes you one. That's why the Lord said when, when, um, when, um, the Holy Spirit comes upon you. He can it can make it a bow with you. Him and the Father come and love you, you know, and you could you you have a place with with God. So you're gonna be speaking the things of the only true power. It says, 
spoken of the only true God, he says, refers to the things of power, his counsel, his interests, things do unto him. So if you're of power, you're going to be speaking of the things that interest God. What well, interest God uh, defending his son, speaking in the defense of his son, actually teaching his son. It says, whenever ye can, it says, whatever can in any respect be likened unto God or resemble him in any way. God's representative or vice regent. It says the magistrate judges God, godly God word, supreme deity, a magistrate ex exceedingly. So the one thing about being a, a power, you're going to know the Lord's counsels and his interests. So guys, that's not of God. They're not speaking of the Lord's counsel or his interest. So they don't have the Lord's doctrine. Matter of fact, let me read what that said. And um, what's that? First John. So by default, by guys, how not are not speaking the Lord's doctrine. They're not pleasing the Lord. Right. So that's the thing. You don't need no no man to uh, once you understand the spirit, it only you don't need no man teach you the Holy Spirit abide upon you. That's why certain men are just set up to actually get you to the door. You have to walk through that door and the doors. You how shy. So guys talking about some they're they're fucking. Um, um you got to go through them. That's that's more heresies. I can sit here and there to be a whole lesson of doing. I can sit here and do a lesson on all the fucking heresies these guys have made up. It's heavy, man. Uh, yeah, let me read this. Second John two. Yeah, so if you're not really confessing um Yahweh Shai in these times, what that what that ultimately means is that um you're not of God at all. You're not a you're not of God. First John, second John one and nine, it says, Whosoever transgressor and bite of not in the doctrine of the anointed. So if you're a power, you're going to be speaking of the things that please the Lord, man. It's heavy. It says, whosoever transgressive abideth not in the doctrine of the anointed have not God. And he that abideth in the doctrine of the anointed, he both have the father and the son. You see that? He both have the father and the son. So if you're confessing your house shy, you have the father and the son. And these are the things that please the father that by speaking of his son and this is how you receive grace you see <laughs> but with that man uh ye are powers you brothers that are confessing and that believing in yahweh shine these time we are the powers and uh guys that are against that they're just of the world and they're damned and they're gonna die off with this world and I speak with you brothers on the next on the next one. Hey, with that, a hey, shallow wall.